Sati Goswami Thakur, he also traveled whole life, whole India, and sent his representative to Europe, America, everywhere. One of his hands came in Western countries first, 
इनमें मुआद भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी महाराज From New York to Los Angeles, everywhere here and all countries over on the on the all mountains in ocean everywhere he preached. Following their path, I am also coming. Everywhere, where Bhakti Vedan Swami has gone or not gone, even in that place. Why? What is what is the purpose to go? Why Narad Rishi travelled everywhere? Why Nirgun Prabhu? गुरुवे गुरु चंद्राया कृष्ण भक्ताय थर भक्ताय नमो नम गुरुदेव ही इज एस्किंग वाय शिव प्रभुपाद एंड हिज डिवाइन सेल्फ आर गोइंग एवरीवेयर इन दिस वर्ल्ड and i'm thinking krishna he never comes he he stays in his place oh but gurudev he is very merciful uh he is the walking bhagavatam one bhagavatam stays on the shelf and the other one he walks through the world so he is so much more valuable and so this is the mercy of gurudev and without his mercy who would ever receive this divine message to awaken us up and help us drop off all these illusory coverings so here we are at the 12th festival of new braj riva and for these 12 years an unprecedented uh continuous flow of nectar has been coming from shiva gurudev's mouth And even we are not qualified to receive this divine nectar, but He is also making us qualified so that we can taste this nectar. Uh, nobody could ever repay Shiva Gurudev for this divine gift. We will know this more and more as it goes on, because uh, there is no repayment for such a matchless gift that He is giving us. uh we can all tr- our duty as sadaks is to try to be humble and submissive to render service and follow and to be enthusiastic and have a serviceable attitude in our in our, our service this is all we can do but still it'll never be repayment for a gift that cannot be received in this material world so we're extremely happy and uh However he wants us to dance we will dance. <laughs> uh I'm thinking that Gurudev I've read something very sweet that actually even if you try to get away from Gurudev oh he has very long arms. <laughs> Gurudev's arms are very long and he'll catch you and bring you back. This is his mercy. So we are all very lucky and uh even though we are not I am not so Krishna consciousness I I feel very fortunate to be here and I uh, pray that you will all have your have mercy on me also and give me your blessings. All I can say is Jai Shri Guru Dev. Jai Shri Guru Dev. It's big two words. So I offer my unlimited obeisances under his divine grace of Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada and to his divine grace of Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. And he has uh, introduced some question why 
are there great acharyas throughout the ages traveling throughout the world to liberate unlimited persons. Bhaktivinoda you know, Thakur says in Jaiva Dharma that the only way to get Nitya Sukriti is in relationship to a Maha Sadhu. So he is traveling around the world, saving everyone. There is unlimited stories about what a moment of Sadhu Sangha can do. Just the slightest little service. But our divine grace, he is trying to push us forward into the realm of pure bhakti. And in my case, it's he is dragging me. And this is the most wonderful of all opportunities to make spiritual advancement. Therefore, I thank everyone for coming. They will all give me blessings and his divine grace for his unlimited mercy to this condition. So is and to me. Thank you. Omega Tamarandasya, Gnanjana Shalakaya, Chakshur and Militam Yena, Tazmai Shi Gurave Namaha. Gurudev is asking why himself, Srila Prabhupada, and Narada Muni, personalities in our life, travel all over the world. Uh, for those of us who have had the good fortune recently to go out and meet the public, something is very special that's happening. There's a new receptivity, there's a new energy. Um, uh, years ago, after Prabhupada left, the spiritual current that he put forth into this world had stopped. There was confusion, uh, misrepresentation by unqualified personalities. Now Gurudev is traveling all over the world so many times, and it's had its effect. The people in general now are ripe, and it's a very exciting time for us to be part of this Sankirtan movement of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But also those of us who have a shelter are experiencing something very special too. Once in Mathura, when Srila Gurudev was giving class, at the end of his class he said, this is Kartik, he said, uh, to be hopeless is offense, is aparad. You should think, my Gurudev has planted the seed of pure bhakti in my heart, and in time it will fructify. And referring to myself, I think he said, for some it may take a little longer, but it will happen. So the next year when I saw Gurudev, I was ready, and he came up to me and he said, how are you? So I went. My Gurudev has planted the seed of pure bhakti in my heart. And Gurudev went, oh, very nice. So hopefully I scored a few points on that one. But, but when you think about what our situation is, uh, personalities like myself with unlimited aparads, countless um, tendencies towards impersonalism, and so many uh, horrible samskars. For a personality like this to actually aspire even for selfless, to become the selfless, dedicated, cooperative particle of love and affection for the pleasure of Radha and Krishna is inconceivable. But Hagarita, he can make the impossible possible, and this is his mission. And we're so fortunate that his intention for us is greater than our opposing tendencies and the misgivings that are so prominent. So, Prabhupada once was asked, how come you don't do any miracles like Jesus Christ? And Prabhupada went, these are my miracles. So, Gurudev is performing so many miracles, we're all experiencing it, and somehow or other, hope is there, despite all material calculation. Just like in the Bhagavad Gita, by material calculation, the armies of the Kurus were so much greater. They had Bhishma Dev and Drona. But uh, the Pandavas had Krishna on their side. So we're in a very difficult situation, internally and externally, Kali Yuga. But we have Gurudev on our side. And his intention for us will prevail. And the only reason we can even aspire for selfless service is because he's already done something in our hearts. So if I can borrow a page from Sri Padmadav Maharaj's book, I just want to use some little 
poem and say, I'm mad, I'm bad, and I'm very sad. Please make me glad. Make me yours, Guru Dave. Please make me yours. <laughs> Tamrandasya Yanangana Shalakaya Chakshu Navitam Jaina Tasmai Si Gudavena Maha from our humble obeisances and the lotus feet of my Gurudev, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, and also to my Shiksha Guru Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada. We're so fortunate that Srila Gurudev has come here to grace us again so many times now, the twelfth time. And so many devotees here for the first day. It's very wonderful. So Gurudev was asking this uh, question, why all the great sages and spiritual masters have traveled all over the world. And I was thinking one story that I had heard about our Prabhupada so many years ago. When he first came, he was staying in a room in the downstairs of the Portland uh, temple. And one devotee was cleaning... Uh, his rooms, and he happened to notice a uh, billfold, like a wallet. And he was very curious. He knew he shouldn't be doing this, but his temptation was too strong. And he pulled out from there a piece of paper, and it was uh, folded up many times. And almost like a secret treasure map, he began to slowly unfold it, one piece at a time. And finally, he opened it up. and it was You could see the paper was curved. Prabhupada had had it a very long time. And when he looked at what was there, he read one beautiful statement, and it said, How to Save the World. So this was our Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada's vision that he had had for so many years, How to Save the World. So all of our spiritual masters, this is their purpose, this is their mission, how to save the world, how to bring the jiva souls back to Krishna. So Srila Prabhupada was very expert, he had many weapons. Um, he came and he had prasadam. He captured so many devotees by their tongue. He had the holy name, chanting Hare Krishna. In Tompkins Square Park, he would sit for hours just chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya. Even he would be sitting there and hippies would be poking him, trying to give him wine and so many things. But he just simply chanted and he attracted so many. But, as Srila Gurudev has pointed out so many times, First, he had to cut so many jungles, but that's not all he came to do, cutting jungles. He also had so many other things to give, <clears throat> especially uh, he wanted to give about Krishna and Radharani and the pastimes in Vrindavan. And he did that so expertly in his books. Everything is there in his books, but yet at the same time, gradually he had to bring these things. So, like any expert warrior, he brought his weapons out one at a time, and as the battle got more difficult, then he brought more powerful uh, weapons, just like um, Prabhuji was mentioning about the Mahabharata, so many great warriors fought each other. And each time a battle would continue, then they would bring out a more powerful weapon to finally defeat their enemy. So, when Srila Prabhupada was getting ready to leave this world, he decided to call out his... Um, one of his most powerful secret weapons, Brahmastra. He brought, he called Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. And he sat with him by his bed and he said, I came to give so much, I've trained them so far, but there's more. They need more to give. Will you, will you help? Will you come? And Srila Gurude very mercifully, although somewhat reluctantly, he said, yes. I will help. <laughs> so now he's come to continue giving what Srila Prabhupada gave and to make it so that everyone could understand it. And he's asked this other question many times. He said, what is the meaning of this Pranam Mantra? Gora Prachan... Gora, Gora Vani Pracharane. What is the deep, deep meaning of this? So I think he's been telling us all so much how Mahaprabhu came and what his mission was, and how he invested it into Sri Rupa Goswami Pad, and how he's given it down the line of our Guru Varga. So Gurudev is expertly continuing to give us, a, give us this, 
and there's no better source to hear. We're all so fortunate, so lucky to be here. Please take advantage of this festival. We have classes beginning tonight and then all through the festival, every day, three classes, and then Srila Gurudev in the evening. So there'll be no shortage of wonderful, sweet Hari Kata headed by Srila Gurudev. Uh, we're here to serve you. Anything we can do, please, uh, please allow us to help. And we look forward to a wonderful festival, and especially our greatest thanks go and appreciation to the great fortune, Srila Gurudev. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Give it to him. Don't come here. First of all, I offer my unlimited Dandava pronouns unto the lotus feet of my spiritual master, Nitti Lila Prabhupada Om Vishnu Padasata Sata Shishiman Shiva Bhakti Vedanta Swamaj. Same unlimited pronouns I offer to the lotus feet of my Shishu Guru, Om Vishnu Bhad Padamahamsa Paravaj Gitari Asata Sata Shishiman Shiva Bhakti Vedanta Swamaj. <clears throat> um, as far as the question, oh, <laughs> um, pronounced to all um, our Guru Varga and all these civil devotees, um, welcome to Badger. Thank you so much for coming here, um, especially Gurudev. Um, this question Gurudev has asked, um, I don't, can't look in my heart and find a way to fathom the um, heart of the pure devotees and... Um, but he's told us a few times why he's come. He said that he heard hearts crying. So I've been trying to understand what kind of ears does that take to hear hearts crying? What kind of sensitivity? And as um, Prabhu was saying, Srila Prabhupada's motivation was to save the world. What kind of sensitivity does that mean? And where is that coming from? And we understand um, from Gurudev's teachings and Srila Prabhupada's teachings that in our Gaudiya line, um, one spiritual master, our Srila Gurudev, he is non-different because of his relationship with his Gurudev. In um, their the same in heart, they know. He knows completely his Gurudev's heart because he has pleased his Gurudev. And so we understand that this desire to distribute um, bhakti and to save the world is coming from his Gurudev, the Gurudev's Gurudev, Shiva Bhakti Siddhanta, Ashwa Papa, and all the way, Shiva Bhakti, all the way, Bhakti Nautakura, all the way up the line to Shrimati Ranka herself and Krishna. So something. There must be a um, clue to the mystery in this line of hearts. And so um, one time, also Gurudev explained to us in Australia that um, well, some reporter was asking, what is your mission? What, what are you trying to accomplish? And Gurudev said, uh, my mission is the same mission as Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. My mission is to distribute love and affection. And he said, the greatest expression of this love and affection is the hearing, the, re, the giving and the hear, receiving of Hari Kata. So um, we are so fortunate for now 12 years. We've had been under the guidance and um, used our fairly useless ears that were um, to hear his Hari Kata and um, trying to understand what, what kind of ears are required to actually f hear hearts crying from such long distance. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
ओम ज्ञान थे ज्ञानंजन शलाकय चक्षुर्मीत तस्म श्री गुरुवे नम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑफरिंग माई थाउजेंड्स ऑफ दंड वक्त नाम संत लोरस फीत और माई गुरु भाद पद्म श्रील भक्ति विनंत नारायण गोस्वामी महाराज टू ऑल गुरु परम्परा एंड टू ऑल दिस डिवोरियस um i'd like to express my gratefulness my gratitude for the guru dev and then of course to all the assembled devotees because if it wasn't for all of you coming and also shri guru dev wouldn't come here so all of you actually make this festival possible so i know that you have appeared is so rare that If you don't feel the proper gratitude then it's very hard to actually receive that sangha. I know that in the Upadesh Amrita Rupa Goswami describes the most paramount dham the the realm in this world which is goes up to Sri Vrindavan, Sri Govardhan and Sri Radha Kund. But really Vrindavan, Radha Kund and Govardhan they all reside in the heart of a sadhu. So today and for 7 days onward here in in Badger this will be Vrindavan this will be Radha Kund and there will be no better place to be in the world than this place here in Badger so I feel very very fortunate but at the same time hearing from a sadhu or simply coming to this festival most people think of this or many of those people who are working in the world full time jobs they think of this as a vacation coming here for 7 days not any work we can only listen and hear But actually this is not a vacation. This is where the work actually starts. This is where Sadhan Bhakti actually starts. So it's a very very serious thing. And to properly understand to properly hear really good is as why has he come? He comes and he delivers everything through his Hari Katha. So most important everyone comes here of course you can associate with the devotees. We'll try to make very nice preparations, prasadam so everyone feels comfortable. But really this is all only to make the atmosphere more favorable so we can hear Hari Katha coming from Sri Lagurdev's lotus mouth and this will give us eternal benefit. So I hope we can do this and everyone can be happy enough and we can properly take this Hari Katha we just sung Guru um this Guru Puja Guru Mukha Padma Bhakti Chite Te Kori Aika Arana Kori Mani Asha So really those words emanating from Gurudev's mouth they should become one with our life and what that means is not only we come we hear hari katha and it goes through one year and goes out the other year we don't remember anything really the proper way to make a trail from your ear down to your heart because that's where we have to store all these things is to continuously hearing and at the same time try to endeavor in your own life to practically follow those instructions which we are given because if we simply hear we jump up and down we some rasgulas then we go home and this week will pass like any other week So it's a very very rare opportunity but only those who are very serious to take this opportunity will receive some benefit and Sri Lagurdev is so merciful I know um Nanda Maharaj she said one shloka mentioning Garga Muni Mahadvi chadanam grinam grihinam dina chetasam nishraya saya bhagavan anya takalpate kvachit that the the subha mahanta subhava te edina paman the the subhav of asadu is to go from house to house because we're so fallen we heard of the glories of rajadam but still we can't go there we're too entangled in our lives our children our family our work so it's not possible for us to go there we're too fallen so shila gurudev all the mahantas like narada muni narada muni not only travels in this world but the whole universe in search for people who are in need of help they see these people are they're so fallen they can't even come to vrindavan so i have to go to them so he comes and he gives hari katha in the form of hari katha this is actually the the medicine for liberation from all sufferings and nishraya saya bhagavan anya tako pate kvachit those people who are averse to bhagavan he be, he makes them up, um face towards bhagavan and our condition is so sad dharma shilasya sudhu kitasya that means it's very very not only it's sad but it says sudhu kitasya it's most sad because even though they're engaged in all these suffer in all these works which is only bringing suffering they think that they're happy so what is the hope for them they can never deliver themselves so out of compassion seeing our condition these great souls like shri gurudev they come and they do whatever they can i know myself at least it takes so much more than just hearing it takes beating and mulling into place and 
Somehow or other, though, he never gives up, so I'm very indebted to Srila Gurudev, and I pray to all the Vaishnavas to please make me a proper recipient by giving me their mercy so I can properly hear Srila Gurudev's classes, also practice them in my own life, and continue to serve Srila Gurudev and all the devotees. San Francisco, Los Angeles, even town, a city. But here, so many, so many faces here I am seeing. Some new also. I am very happy. I think this place is Braja. I, that is why I come. Yeah. From beginning, perhaps it is twelve. Twelve years. Twelve years. Twelve From beginning, when I came first America, I also came here. The school had banned that. Don't give any place to Narayan Maharaj. <laughs> but Nirgun Prabhu. And like Narad Rishi, he can huh? stay anywhere. <laughs> he hosted me. I cannot repay him. And then I'm preaching here. So this place is Beja. Nothing artificial you see. Like Giraj mountain here, Jamna river also, <laughs> and all kinds of facilities, natural are here. In Srimad Bhagavat Gita has been written that when Krishna took birth, in Gokul, from the home of Mother Jasoda, and Baldev Prabhu took birth from the home of Rohini Maya. After six or seven days, Garga Charya came to Gokul. Seeing him, Nanda Baba respected so much. He worshipped him, took his feet, water on his head and everywhere in his house, and prayed him, Bhavadidha Bhagavata Tirthi. Swayam Prabhu, Tirthi Kurvantu, Tirthi Means, you have nothing to take from anyone. You are self-satisfied. No desire to take anything from anyone. But you come in our houses of Grihastha, who are always sinking in his children, in their children's wife, father, and all householdings, jobs. They have no time to go to sadhu. So sadhu mercifully, they come to their houses. You should see. <coughs> America or any place did not invite invited Swamiji, Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj. Even he came door to door everywhere in his old age. Nothing to take. Only to give. So 
समन कुमार टोल्ड निज कार्य ना हूं तब महंत स्वभाव यही तारी ते पमर निज कार्य ना ही तब जान आन घर मीन्स साधु आर सेल्फ सेटिस्फाइड बट दे गो टू गृहस्थ आश्रम भक्त गृहस्थ भक्त और गृहस्थ जनरल पर्सन दे हैव नो टाइम टू डू साधु संग फॉर देम दे गो वॉट दे टेल लिशन मी यू आर पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ गॉड इटर्नल सर्वेंट ऑफ गॉड This is your not place, eternal place. You will have to be old, and you will have to give up the body. And after that, where you will go, you don't know. But you should know that this body is bag of urine, bag of. Stool, blood, so many things. In the structure, there are some bones here and there, and very good, decorated by very beautiful skins, but in heart nothing. This human life, human form, is the root of to know who am I. And what is the relation with Krishna? Krishna is supreme personality of God. <coughs> Only by sadhus who are realized, they can tell you. Don't waste your time. Labhvar sudol dabam vidam bau sambhavanti manusham arthadam anityam api hadhira. तुर्णम जतेत न पतेत अनुमृत्यु जावत निशेषाय विष खलु कृष्ण इज कॉडलेस मर्सीफुल आउट ऑफ मर्सी ही हैज गिवन दिस फॉर्म ऑफ ह्यूमन वी हैव नेवर डीड एनीथिंग गुड दैट वी शुड कम इन ह्यूमन फॉर्म वेयर समटाइम्स एनिमल्स बर्ड्स Trees, creepers, so many. So if he will not do bhajan, Krishna consciousness, then again you will have to go in the in the journey, the species of. Donkeys, monkey, monkey, dogs, hogs, pigs. You will have to go. You will be fishes, and all will eat. And they eat you. So don't lose your time. Turnam jate tarna pate tarnu mitto jawa. Only in human form. In human life, we can attain the service of Krishna, by which we will be eternally happy. There is no other means. So, before your death, you should be prepared to know the relation between you and Krishna. There is eternal relation. Only relation for only. Lifetime. After that, no relation. Anyone go where? Anyone go anywhere? So he is telling that. So Nardrishi, or Sila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami, or Sila Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj, my Guru Dev, the travel whole. India and after that whole world, they are traveling only to tell them and inspire them. Why not once time? Why so many times? I am 
ट्रेवलिंग अबाउट ट्वेंटी टू टाइम्स होल वर्ल्ड वाई ओ इच यूर टू रिमेम्बर यू रिमाइंड यू डोंट बी वीक At the time of initiation, I tell them, begin sixteen rounds. But if you cannot do, then begin from eight or. Seven. But try to do sixteen or more. Haydar Thakur used to chant three lakhs of them. You cannot do, but. you can do something so you should do otherwise when they take initiation at that oh i will do and after that i hear oh she are he doing one time two times sometimes and nothing do you remember meditate your diksha mantra guru mantra prabhu i have no time to why they take to so remind that what krishna will give it is very powerful it can stop the endless pain of endless birth and death it can give oh krishna pain what you will desire all desires will be fulfilled by this name but not by money money cannot give anything money will give shok bhay and all the this things suffering sorrows ha huh? sorrows lamentation and lamentation it will give so don't do so much effort if suffering coming without lamentation Huh? Invitation. Without invitation. Huh? Invitation. 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 And comes and writes on our heads, and we'll have to enjoy suffering. So if there is happiness, automatically it will come. If we have done something. then wealth will come automatically if you don't want don't be worry for that worry only for how to achieve krishna bhakti krishna prem so give a pointers on chanting name services of krishna archan preaching and all other things always remind remember krishna not only krishna with radhika you should always remember i also want that your very high class of sanyasis have come padmana maharaj tidandi maharaj tirth maharaj damodar maharaj shauti maharaj shauti maharaj What name? Avadhut Maharaj, Madhu Maharaj, Nemi Maharaj, Nemi Maharaj also. Bhagavat, Oh Bhagavat, Maham Bhagavat. Also, Jadurani. He has not come here. Jadurani. There are so many. So manage uh, two, three times in morning. at ten in evening and then my class so that you can gain more and more so you should manage all these things i know that here a very good prasadam is there here nothing to go here and there in one place hari katha here <laughs> prasadam and to stay here posting also so go prema nandi